and there won't be anything profound either. <laughs> we have eight young people here today. They came from different families. They might or might not know each other, and uh, they also might go to different schools. But there is one commonality among them all, is that they are all winners. Now some of you may say, well, my kid didn't win the first place. Or you may say, hey, my kid win the first place and somebody else didn't. No, that's not the point. To be a winner is a state of mind. It's not where you position in a race or contest or whatever it is. If you're not in the race, if you're not in the game, in the contest, you'll never be a winner. So the first step to be a winner is to get into the game. So, um, and remember that uh, it's not always the swift that wins the race. Quite often, it's the one that keep on running. Um, now, having said that, <clears throat> uh oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> no. Uh, no, no, no. We also need to ask the young people, need to ask ourselves, what motivates us to be the winner? Is it wealth, fortune, fame? Is it idealism, uh, meaning altruism? Uh, is it my uh, culture, my family's uh, pressure or uh, uh, guidance? Uh, is it uh, my faith? Whatever it is, there's no right or wrong, but you should know what it is that drives you. And uh, I like to bring up a person uh, as we speak right now, is in the intensive care unit of Emory University. That is uh, a doctor, uh, uh, Remnant. He was an IU graduate, and he volunteered as a missionary doctor in Africa, and while over there picked up the Ebola virus and got sick. And uh, so if we judged a winner by what we're familiar with or what we are more often told, whether we're on top of things, well, this man doesn't have to be in Africa. He doesn't have to risk his life to help others. Um, but he's a winner, definitely. So we need to know what it is that motivates us. And good luck to you all. Thank you for coming.